So just 30 quid bags you the fresh new Honor Band 5, a fully featured fitness tracker packing all kinds of great tools like Pulse and SPO2 monitoring and full notification support. If you're a casual fitness fan, there's a lot to love about the Honor Band 5. It's definitely a very stiff rival to the likes of Xiaomi's own Mi Band 4. I've had it slapped on my wrist for about a week now, and here's my in-depth Honor Band 5 review. And for more than the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So one of the obvious advantages of a dinky fitness band like this compared with a full-on smartwatch is the fact that it's incredibly slim and light. At just a shade over 20 grams, you won't notice the Honor Band 5 sat on your wrist all day long, even when you're pounding the pavement or squat thrusts in your way to victory. The only real issue I had was with that loop bit that holds the strap in place. I find that when I'm trying to put the Honor Band 5 on or take it off, sometimes it snatches at my arm hairs and actually yanks them out. It's really nasty. I mean, you know, I'm a big manly man, so I'm not bothered or anything. It doesn't make me cry, but it's just not very nice, really. The Honor Band 5 is water resistant to 50 meters, so you can use it to track your swimming session or just leave it on while you splash about in the bath with Mr. Ducky. And yes, it is definitely one durable mother as well. You can literally beat the living crap out of this thing, smack it off concrete walls, things like that, and it's absolutely fine. These things are definitely made to last. Now, if you're using a clock face with a dark background, that screen seems to stretch right to the very edges of the Honor Band 5, but stick on a more vibrant backdrop and suddenly you realize just how tiddly that panel really is. That display is just a smidge under an inch in size, so understandably any text and things like that is rather tiny. I didn't have any problems reading it myself, but if you do have reading glasses or anything, then you're gonna struggle. Thankfully, the 240 by 120 resolution means that dinky text is at least sharp. No blocky pixelated visuals here. Plus, it is a super bright AMOLED screen as well, so I've nobody seen what's going on when you're out and about, even on really summery days. Now dive on into Huawei's health app and you'll find a decent selection of alternative colourful clock faces, which can be downloaded free of charge. I counted 50 in total, including some rather nice cartoony efforts, a few analogue faces, and... and... Uh, sorry, I've lost my train of thought. Um, oh yeah, the watch faces, they're only available if you are using an Android smartphone apparently, so there's that. And the general setup on the Honor Band 5 is pretty straightforward and it works well. You can lift your arm to wake up the screen and check out the time as well as your steps count for the day and stuff like that. Some of the clock faces also have the likes of a battery and Bluetooth status icon, or alternatively you can get all of that info by tapping the display. Swiping up and down navigates through the various features which I'll touch on in a sec. And for such an affordable device, the Honor Band 5's touch controls work impressively well. And if you want to return to the main clock face at any point, just a quick tap of that circular jobby beneath the screen does the job. And as usual, you get a bum load of fitness features to keep track of your daily motions. On the Honor Band 5's dinky display, you can check out a real-time update on your steps taken, calories burned, distance covered, and how much active time you've had on this particular day. I found that overall the accuracy for the step count and the calorie burn was pretty damn good. Slightly more optimistic than the likes of a premium smartwatch, but the Honor Band 5 is pretty much on par with the likes of the Xiaomi Band 4. In fact, they came out with very similar results indeed. Head to the Huawei Health app on your phone and you can browse historical data for all of your activities. Check out if your heart rate is changing over time, stuff like that. It's far from the most comprehensive health solution out there, of course, but for any casual enthusiast, it should definitely do the job. The heart rate monitor can keep constant 24-hour tabs on your pulse, so you can track your rest and rate and check for any troublesome spikes. And this all works just as well as a premium fitness smartwatch. And thanks to a very recent update, the Honor Band 5 can now even keep track of your SPO2 levels as well. That's the amount of oxygen being carried in your blood. Typically drifts between 95 to 100%, and if it goes any lower than that during your exercise sessions, then bad times. There's no automatic exercise exercise track in here, but you can tell the Honor Band that you're about to get stuck into a session of something, and it'll chart your progress complete with vibration updates when you hit particular milestones, and there's a reasonable number of exercises covered. The only thing I didn't get a chance to test in the previous week was the swim tracking, mostly because I really don't look good in a pair of trunks these days, but if I do get the chance to test it out, I will bung my thoughts down in the description below. And you also get a bit of sleep tracking as well if you want to see how much quality kip you're getting each night, although this isn't entirely accurate. On one or two occasions, the Honor Band 5 did think that I drifted off when I was actually just sat on the sofa watching a box set. Must have been some really thrilling TV, probably watching a bit of James Corden or something. And plenty of other nifty features are also stuffed inside of that on a band, which is mighty impressive for a 30 quid device. For one, you'll get a buzz on the wrist every time your phone receives a notification, as long as you're connected to your phone via Bluetooth. You get a brief snippet of whatever's trickled in. It is a very simple setup, you can't respond or anything like that, but it does at least keep you from constantly having to yank out your mobile to see why it was buzzing. And there's also 
also a very nifty Find My Phone feature, which is particularly helpful if you have a mobile pinch and toddler running riot around your household. Basically, just get that started, and all of a sudden your phone will start ringing, buzzing, and basically screaming out for help. Let's find this bloody thing. I'm here. I'm here. <sighs> Yep, and that'll work. And after that recent update, you can also now pause your music and skip tracks with a variety of streaming services, including main stuff like Spotify, Amazon Music, and so on. I found it worked perfectly well with Amazon. You can even change the volume right there on the dinky display. And I found with all of the features enabled, including the constant heart rate tracking, all that kind of shenanigans, I got just under six days of life from a full single charge. That's basically what Honor reckons you'll get, so bang on. So that right there is what I think of the Honor Band 5. For 30 quid, it's definitely a smart little device, perfect for anyone who just wants to keep track of their steps, their calorie burn, their heart rate, things like that. And the fact that you can actually get the likes of the SPO2 measurements in there as well, absolutely brilliant for this sort of price point. So are you tempted by the Honor Band 5? Definitely a very similar design and feature set to the likes of the Mi Band 4. Um, yeah, for 30 quid, you really can't go wrong, to be perfectly honest. So slap your thoughts down in the comments below. And please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers, everyone. Love you.